you tell your story in I have been, I am uh, and have been connected to uh, open air museums in Europe and in the world for many years because uh, we do not have many open air museums here uh, so it's important to get out to see what are they doing abroad um, and uh, I went to my first conference in the Association of European Open Air Museums in 1999 and uh, there I met guy from Norway who told about they were making one family houses, villas, uh, ordinary people's uh, small houses uh, from the 20th century. The idea was to get one from each, uh, each period from 1910s and 1920s the 30s and the latest one they made was in 1995. And that, okay. He told that in 1999 so it was very close very close to, to, to present time. Well, I thought that was interesting. Then I went to, uh, to uh, Holland, went to the museum in Holland, uh, which is brilliant, and I saw they made a row of houses. In fact, the idea was uh, developed in, in Wales, but uh, I saw the first time in, in Holland, where you have uh, four houses built together, as they would have been, the first one was from 1860, the next from 1905 or something like that, then from the 30s, and then one from the 70s. And you could follow the development of this house and how people lived and how people looked and how the furniture was. <coughs> and, well, that was interesting because I felt it was my own history. I got in direct contact with my own history. And later on I've seen that from, uh, seen different things um, uh, around the world. But I tried to think about how it would be at Dengangabu, you know, it means the old town. Yes. And um, I couldn't imagine that you would have one 17th century house here with 17th uh, century furniture, and then you would have a 1971 house with uh, 1971 furniture. It would be too helter skelter, too much mixed together. So I thought it was important, but I couldn't imagine how we could do it. And I told that at a conference in September in Hungary in 2001, in September 2001. And when I put the last dot for this manuscript in February 2002, I had written such a part where we had the idea, you had the old center of the town, then you have the new parts of the town that would grow on the old part of the town. That's how Danish towns, most towns, have developed. Um, and so that's the way we could do it. So somewhere it came to me. I don't know where, from where, uh, but all of a sudden I, I wrote it and said, well, that's interesting. <laughs> and then we decided to do it. 